Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you. This is evening prayer for Sunday, May 7th. It's the fourth week in Easter, fourth Sunday of Easter, and week three in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 103, Matthew 7, verse 15 to 29, and a canticle from Judith, chapter 16, verses 2 and 13 through 16. Now please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Novice. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas, for you have made. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Hallelujah. Psalm 103, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me, bless God's holy name. Bless the Most High, my soul, and do not forget God's blessings, who forgives all my iniquities, who heals all my diseases, who redeems my life from destruction, who crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies my hunger with good things, so that my youth is renewed like the eagles. You, my God, execute righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. You made known your ways to Moses, your acts to the children of Israel. You are loving and gracious, slow to anger and full of mercy. You will not always chide, nor will you be angry forever. You have not dealt with us as we deserve nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is your mercy toward those that fear you. As far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed our transgressions from us. Like parents who take pity upon their children, so you love them that fear you. For you know of what we are made, and remember that we are dust. And as for the children of the earth, their days are like the grass, as the flowers of the field, so they flourish. Then the wind passes over and they are gone, and that place shall know them no more. But your mercy is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear you, and your righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep your covenant, and to those that remember to do your commandments. You have prepared your throne in the heavens, and your kingdom rules over all. Bless the Most High, you angels, that excel in strength, that do God's commandments, listening to God's word. Bless the Most High, all God's hosts, you ministers of God, that do God's pleasure. Bless the Most High, all God's works, in all places of God's dominion. Bless the Most High, my soul. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Most High, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 7, beginning at verse 15. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will know them by their fruits. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, 
will enter the kingdom of heaven. But only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we did not prophesy in your name. Did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many deeds of power in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Go away from me, you evil doers. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was its fall. Now when Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were astounded at his teaching. For he taught them as one having authority, and not as their scribes. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety, and for all of your intentions. And now, as our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now, let's recite the canticle together. Hallelujah, begin a new song to my God with timbrels. Sing to my God with cymbals. Sing to God a new psalm, and exalt God, and call upon God's name. I will sing to you a new song. You, O God, are great and glorious, wonderful in strength and invincible. Let all creatures serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You set forth your spirit and it created them, and there is none that can resist your voice. For the mountains shall be moved from their foundations with the waters. The rocks shall melt like wax at your presence, yet you are merciful to them that fear you. For all sacrifice is too little for a sweet, sweet savor to you, and all the fat is not sufficient for your burnt offering. But they that fear you are great at all times. Hallelujah. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.